Welcome, this is Alexandra Lewandowska with the unusual Monday meditation that I promised to deliver and here it is. But before we move on with the meditation, as usual, let's listen to the introduction. Welcome. You've just dived into the deep, an online community meditating the Ignatian way. If it's the first time you're with us, you will now hear a short explanation on how we meditate together. The meditations are streamed every Sunday. Before each meditation, there will be a short introduction for the reading of the day. It's also time for you to prepare the place where you'll meditate. Get comfortable, but not too comfortable. The benefits of meditating while asleep are yet to be found. Remember to turn off your phone, Facebook and other apps that may distract you. The streaming is available on YouTube and it's best to go there directly. You can find a link in the description of this video. Please hold your comments and the things you'd like to share with others until the end. You may turn off the screen, dim the lights, or close your eyes if you like. When meditating, you don't have to do anything. Just sit back, relax, listen to the soft music and the words of the speaker. Don't try to force anything and don't judge yourself. Just let yourself experience the thoughts, images and feelings you have inside. Remember, God only knows what's going to happen, so trust that He is at work in you and trust the process. The meditation will take about 40 minutes. Previous meditations can be found on YouTube. And now, let's start off with the introduction. If you've watched the Look Before You Leap episode, uh, you know that I said something about our human tendency to admire what is foreign and to disregard what is our own. And unfortunately, there is this dangerous tendency among believers to, to self-deprecate too much, to hold ourselves in contempt and think it's a kind of a virtue. Well, it isn't, because it's one thing to be cautious, to not be carried away by our ego and what we think is good, what we think is best, because other people are, among other things, a blessing for us, because they can always help objectify a situation for us, or a belief, or anything else. But the thing is that we are not meant to reject ourselves to the point where we don't make use of any of our gifts thinking they are me that they are equal to nothing because that doesn't help anybody that definitely doesn't make us better people and won't make us saints for sure so in today's meditation i'd like to suggest that we take this inner voice the voice of inner prophet that we all have in us for a walk outside and to see the reactions and to see whether we are so afraid, perhaps, that other people will criticize us and won't let us speak, that perhaps we are hiding, we've been hiding this voice inside all along. I don't know about you, but I have such experiences that I was sometimes afraid to, to speak up because I thought I need to be 100% sure I'm right and only then I am allowed to suggest something or to offer help and many people I know from my conversations it stems out that they have the same problem and the tragedy of this approach is that many people are not helped love is not seen in action because of of our cowardice I might say I know it's a harsh word but perhaps this is what it is that 
whenever we focus too much on ourselves, whenever we focus too much on self-protection, then we don't let this voice of wisdom, love, let, we don't let it out, we don't let the inner prophet out, people suffer because they don't get what might help them. So, and I'm sure that from the perspective of an external observer, it looks completely different. Uh, I also notice that people don't are not aware of their own talents, of their own sphere of influence. They are not aware of what a, what a light they are to other people. And sometimes only other people have to point it out. If you have good friends, just like I do, like then you're lucky when, when they encourage you. But whether other people tell you that or not, it's still recommended to make use of what you have inside because if you don't say it, if you don't do it, it will just die with you. So let's let's not let it die. Let's not let it. Like, I'm tired. Sorry. <laughs> I think it's better if we just start with the gospel, and the main thing will happen during the meditation, which I hope will be fruitful for all of you. Let's start. Jesus left there and went to his hometown, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in a synagogue, and many who heard him were amazed. Where did this man get these things? they asked. What's this wisdom that has been given him? What are these remarkable miracles he is performing? Isn't this the carpenter? Isn't this Mary's son and the brother of James, Joseph? Judas and Simon, aren't his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own town, among his relatives, and in his own home. He could not do any miracles there, except lay his hands on a few sick people and heal them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. Make sure you are sitting in a comfortable position, with your back straight, your feet touching the floor. And now, check how you are feeling at the moment, scanning your body from head to toe, going down through each part of your body. Notice now how this feeling is reflected in your breath. What is the rhythm and the pace of your breathing? And try to slow it down, 
or to make it even. Just notice how the air enters your body and how it leaves. As you breathe, realize that each breath is a gift from a good, loving God who is smiling upon you right now. Take a moment to appreciate this presence and to stand in it.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I beseech you, Lord, to direct all my actions by your inspiration. Carry them on by your gracious help. Let every prayer and work of mine may always begin from you, and through you be happily ended. In your own words, entrust this time to God. Ask him for the grace to notice his presence in you. Let us also pray for people who look for meaning out in the world. Imagine you are at home, the place in you that you call home, where you feel most comfortable, where you can be yourself. What does your home look like when it's exactly the way you want it to be? This home is occupied by a voice of truth, love and wisdom, a voice of a prophet. If this voice wanted to go outside, what would it say to the world? What would it share? if it weren't afraid of rejection.
Imagine this voice actually going out and speaking to the world. How is it received? Is it welcomed or rejected? What are the voices that reject it? Do they belong to strangers or to people you know? they sound so harsh because they are very close to you. Perhaps you think these are the voices that should rule your home.
How does the voice of the prophet react to the voices that reject it? Does it get discouraged? Maybe it keeps on speaking. Imagine now that you are a different voice from a different country. You have come here to listen to the voice of this prophet. What do you notice? Listen to this voice, look at it, what do you hear, what do you see, what value do you find in it?
Do you think that voice is good? Helpful? What could you tell that voice as a stranger? What does God have to say about this voice? Does he encourage it? What does he say? Perhaps God is inviting you right now to go somewhere and perform a big or small miracle with this voice. Where is he inviting you to go?
For a few minutes, talk to God about what is in your heart right now. Jesus, may all that is you flow into me. May your body and blood be my food and drink. May your passion and death be my strength and life. Jesus, with you by my side, enough has been given. May the shelter I seek be the shadow of your cross. Let me not run from the love that you offer, but keep me safe from the forces of evil. On each of my dyings should your light and your love keep calling to me until that day comes, when with your saints I may praise you forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I hope that you had the chance to meet with this voice of inner prophet and that it will lead you somewhere to a beautiful place and for you not to miss out on these directions let's now have a minute of reflection to write down all the important things that happened during this meditation and I'll see you in a moment. And welcome back. Thank you once again for meditating together. I hope to see you next week at the usual Sunday meditation this time. 
once again sorry for these technical issues i hope it was not an issue for you and that you enjoyed meditating on monday or perhaps you you meditate on monday usually i actually wonder what days you choose to meditate because from the numbers of views that changes every day i can notice that not all of you do it on sunday but that's interesting to me if you want to let me know i would appreciate your comment and until next week have a great wonderful blessed week and i hope you'll have many opportunities to use this in a voice of the prophet bye bye